Hey everyone, welcome to our next video in our Paint Defects 101 series. My name is Kevin Ansel, application engineer for 3M. Today we're going to take a deep dive into fish eyes. We're going to talk about how they occur and what we can do to fix them. Before we get started, let's go over a few things. First, make sure that you're wearing your proper PPE whenever you're using any of these products. You'll notice today I'm wearing safety glasses, hearing protection, cut resistant gloves, and a particulate filter respirator. Second, this video is intended for occupational use only, like in a body shop or a paint shop. If you want more information, I posted a link to our safety and warranty information in the description below. Now let's get started. Fish eyes usually occur when there's some level of contamination either in the air or on the surface of the panel uh, before you even apply your paint. This can occur in any level of the process, whether you're spraying base coat, clear coat, what have you. Uh, and it's mainly a result of silicone or oil or grease that's left on the substrate. It wasn't properly cleaned and it doesn't allow the paint to properly stick to the surface. Uh, it almost makes it so that the paint is resistant to the area where you're trying to apply paint and there's just a little crater or a, a little area of resistance where the paint doesn't properly adhere. More often than not, this is going to result in a repaint of the panel. So what I'm going to show you here is there is a small section on the panel that, you know, there's a couple small pools where we don't have our paint adhered to the surface. I'm going to buzz that off with 800 grit abrasive using dust extraction just to make sure that you know dust is not getting back into the air and then we will have the surface ready to go so that we can reapply our clear coat. Before I begin scuffing out my fish eyes, I'm going to put a, a strip of tape down in the middle just to separate what the panel looked like before versus what it looks like after. All right, so now we've removed our fish eyes, made the surface nice and flat again. Uh, we have sanded down. We're still contained within our base coat. Uh, for this application, we can go ahead and apply our clear coat after we clean the panel with our water-based cleaner, solvent-based cleaner, and then tack the surface just to be sure and be absolutely certain that there's no contaminants left on the surface. It's important to try to identify what was causing the fish eyes to occur in the first place. Uh, it could have been somebody using a, a wax or a silicone contained product outside of the, the spray booth and some of those uh, particles could have landed inside the booth. Or um, if you have uh, moisture contamination in your airlines, if the panel's not properly you know, cleaned beforehand, uh, you really wanna make sure that you can do anything you can to avoid this from happening in the future. Because anytime you have to go back and repaint and reapply clear over the panel, that's time that's not spent as efficiently and you're not getting paid for that type of application. So anything we can to prevent fish eyes from happening again in the future, that's something that we're going to try to achieve. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, comment in the section below. Make sure you share and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to check us out at 3M Collision Repair Academy. See you next time.